This cutting-edge bandage could make flu shots a thing of the past. Here's an idea whose time has come. A flu shot that doesn't require an actual shot. For the first time, researchers have tested a flu vaccine patch in a human clinical trial and found that it delivered as much protection as a traditional jab with a needle. It's not just needle phobes who stand to benefit from this development. Reported Tuesday in the journal Lancet, doctors and public health experts have high hopes that vaccine patches will boost the number of people who get immunized against the flu. Seasonal influenza is responsible for up to half a million deaths around the world each year, according to the World Health Organization. In the United States, the annual death toll since 2010 has ranged between 12,000 and 56,000. And yet the proportion of American adults who get a flu shot tends to hover around 40%. The fact that it usually involves poking a piece of metal into the muscle of your upper arm may have something to do with its low vaccination rate. Some people also blame the time and expense involved in getting a flu shot. But a team led by Georgia Tech engineer Mark Pronitz has come up with an alternative method that uses micro-needles. These tiny needles are so small that 100 of them, arrayed on a patch, can fit under your thumb. Yet they're big enough to hold vaccine for three strains of the flu. The micro-needle patch was tested in a clinical trial conducted by DRIVE. Nadine Rufel and colleagues at Emory University's Hope Clinic Indicator, Georgia. The trial involved 100 volunteers, who were randomly sorted into four groups. Two of the groups were vaccinated with the patch, which resembles a band-aid and must be applied to the skin near the wrist for 20 minutes. The procedure was so straightforward that one group of volunteers was able to administer the vaccine themselves. In the other group, Healthcare professionals did the job. Inspection of the used vaccine patches revealed that the microneedles dissolved during the 20 minutes they were on the skin. A third group received a traditional flu shot using a regular needle, and a fourth group got a patch that looked like the real thing but contained a placebo. The researchers checked in on the volunteers 28 days after their immunizations and found that flu antibody levels were significantly higher in the three groups that got the vaccine than in the group that got the placebo. What's more, the two groups that got the vaccine via patch had about the same antibody levels as the group that got the traditional shot. In addition, the volunteers who put the patches on themselves got the same protection as the volunteers whose patches were administered by health professionals. After six months, at least 75% of volunteers in all three vaccine groups were still being protected, according to the study. The traditional shot contained at least 15 micrograms of antigens, the part of the flu virus that triggers an immune response to each of the three strains of flu. The patches delivered a slightly smaller dose of antigens, regardless of whether the patch was deployed by a health professional or a volunteer. None of the study volunteers had serious side effects. The groups that got patches had mild skin reactions that were not seen in the regular needle group, while the volunteers in the regular needle group were more likely to experience pain. Overall. 70% of the volunteers who got vaccine patches said they'd rather use them again than get a traditional flu shot or an intranasal vaccine. The study authors declared it a success on all fronts. Influenza vaccination with microneedle patches is well tolerated, well accepted, and results in robust immunological responses, whether administered by healthcare workers or by the participants themselves, they wrote. Still, they added that the patches would have to perform well in larger studies before they could be put into wide use. Ideally, future versions of the patches would produce fewer skin reactions while delivering the same protection, they wrote. Their enthusiasm was echoed in a commentary that accompanied the study. These early findings suggest the emergence of a promising new option for seasonal vaccination wrote Katja Hosler and Maria Zambon of Public Health England. The biggest beneficiaries could be people in low- and middle-income countries, where flu vaccines are hard to come by. Reducing pain is nice, but other benefits, the patch costs less, is easier to transport, doesn't require refrigeration, can be self-administered and doesn't generate sharps waste, are even better.
Microneedle patches have the potential to become ideal candidates for vaccination programs, they wrote. Support our journalism. Already a subscriber? Thank you for your support. If you are not, please consider subscribing today. Get full access to our signature journalism for just 99 cents for the first four weeks. Bye bye flu shot. Hello Patch, early results look promising for dissolvable microneedle vaccine. An experimental flu vaccine patch with dissolving microneedles appears safe and effective. A preliminary study shows the patch has 100 solid, water-soluble and painless microneedles that are just long enough to penetrate the skin. Researchers say it could offer a pain-free and more convenient alternative to flu shots. This bandage strip sized patch of painless and dissolvable needles can transform how we get vaccinated, said Dry. Roderick Pettigrew, director of the U.S. National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, which funded the study. A particularly attractive feature is that this vaccination patch could be delivered in the mail and self administered. In addition, this technology holds promise for delivering other vaccines in the future. He said in an Institute News release, the study of 100 adults found that the patch triggered a strong immune response and did not cause any serious side effects. At most, some patients developed local skin reactions to the patches, which involved faint redness and mild itching that lasted two to three days. The flu vaccine is released by the microneedles, which dissolve within a few minutes. The patch is then peeled off and thrown away. Researchers at Georgia Institute of Technology and Emory University led the study. The results were published online June 27 in The Lancet. These early results suggest the emergence of a promising new option for seasonal vaccination. Doctors Katya Hosler and Maria Zambon wrote in an accompanying editorial. They are with Public Health England's National Infections Service. The more exciting features of the microneedle patch include its low cost, safety, storage convenience and durability, they said. Microneedle patches have the potential to become ideal candidates for vaccination programs, not only in poorly resourced settings but also for individuals who currently prefer not to get vaccinated, the editorialists wrote. One flu expert agreed, the flu microneedle patch is easy to use, it can be self-administered and, like other medication patches, it is well absorbed through the skin, said Dry. Len Horowitz, a pulmonary specialist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City, this development eliminates the need for intramuscular injection, a flu shot, by a healthcare professional, he added. Also, this patch does not need to be refrigerated, it has a long shelf life. Horowitz noted, standard vaccines can lose potency if left out of refrigeration repeatedly, as occurs in most settings.